In this video, I want to talk about minimalism and how you can do more by owning less. I was first introduced to minimalism a few years back when I got interested in the whole digital nomad movement, when I found out what it's all about to be a digital nomad. The digital nomad term has been thrown around online quite a bit and it definitely means different things to different people. I will share my own definition in a separate video, but in this video I want to talk about minimalism and I was introduced to this topic before I became a digital nomad or be before I started traveling. I was reading blog posts and watching videos online about how to become a digital nomad, how to work location independently, and the one common topic that kept coming up was that owning less lets you do more and it lets you travel lighter and it just generally frees you. When it comes to lifestyle design and living as a digital nomad, it's all about freedom. What can you do in your life to create more freedom for yourself in your work and in your life in general? So after hearing about minimalism, I really started to question why I own the things I own and what I acquire going forward. Because whenever I make a new purchase, I really do my research, I think about it. I generally prefer purchasing products of higher quality, but they obviously do come at a premium price. And I know not everyone can always afford them. I generally will try and save longer until I can afford the better quality product and then I'll invest in something that's going to produce a better result, a better outcome and is also going to last longer. One example is the luggage that I purchased. I travel with Samsonite luggage. I will make a separate video about this topic but the luggage is premium, it costs more but it is such a pleasure to travel with. I recently watched a great documentary on Netflix called minimalism and it's created by the minimalists they two guys that are all about spreading the message of you know valuing the important things in life and owning less and doing more i definitely recommend checking out that documentary it kind of reframed the whole topic for me but it's definitely been something that i've been actively living for quite a few years and moving forward it's something i want to keep living and i want to keep refining it i'm actually moving into a small apartment in cape town soon and i've been asking myself what do I really need for that apartment? What do I need to furnish that apartment? What are my minimal requirements? And what are the items that I get the most value out of? And on top of that, I've also been sorting through old boxes that I still own. It's all about focusing on being lean and focusing on what's important in life. And for me, a great way of doing that is getting rid of everything that you don't need. Generally, it's such a freeing feeling to only have a few things that you really care about that provide a lot of value. So yeah, for me, that's what minimalism is all about. And I encourage you to learn more about it if you don't already live a minimalist lifestyle. I'm not saying you have to get rid of everything. And obviously, we're all different. We, we certainly need things to live life and to enjoy life. But we also live in a time where we have obsessive, consumption and we feel like we need more stuff and that more stuff's going to make us happier and that is not always the case. I've learned that having less stuff and, and having things that, that mean more to me and that are of good quality definitely help me live a much happier life. If you have any questions about this topic or any thoughts you'd like to share, leave them in the comments below. I always enjoy hearing from you. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and I'll chat to you soon. Cheers.